Hello guys, today is 26th of July 2017 here in Stockholm, Sweden, Northern Europe <laughs> um, and finally I got to drive this nice little racer Volvo again this used to be my D truck like last year, I drove it all the time um, did not record so many videos by then but I think I have a couple videos on this thing uh, backing up in uh, Solna over there in that really tight reversing spot towards the Snabgross, which is over at Solna uh, on the north side of Stockholm. Uh, there I use this this truck a lot to back up in there, and that's really tight and hard reversing. So you guys should check that out. Uh, now you might notice I don't use the new TomTom Tom Professional uh, 6200 trucking GPS that I'm plan to give away too of. And that's because uh, I can't get a hold of TomTom uh, -tom, uh, and stuff and uh, so I have made a review video of that thing but they gotta you know approve it so I'm waiting for their approval but until then I can't record any more videos of it I think so we'll just have to wait and I really hope there's no problem with that any of the giveaways uh, but you know should not, not be a any problems so you guys shouldn't worry at all but uh, I'm not gonna mention it anymore and I'm not gonna film the device anymore until I get the review video uh, approved right now we're going to Vils Elfka here again uh, like standard I seem to always get this drive now uh, I, I don't choose you know it's, it's the transport leaders or fleet managers that uh, choose what I should drive so you're going to see some reversing as well, I started recording now when it was like 30 minutes left, so I don't know, hopefully it will record the reversing, we'll see, otherwise I'm sorry. So this is a low truck with a tall trailer, it's a 3.2 meters high truck and I've just smushed it all in there, totally, totally full in the truck. Uh, I had to lift five pallets and it's not easy when it's such a low truck it's uh, just as high as me in the inside of the uh, what's it called flock in Swedish in the car carriage back here it's like 185 centimeters or one 190 I think I am about 185 so it's like exactly my height it's annoying though when you have uh, even lower trucks and you gotta like bend down all the time when working at the back. That is so annoying <laughs> and uh, kind of hurts my neck and stuff. <laughs> oh well, at least uh, it's very rarely that I get to drive those as I have trailer license, so I mostly drive trailers. And if I do get to drive low trucks, they're usually like so I can just stand up in them. So yeah, I really like this truck, it's nice to drive it because it's very smooth and it's very special I think. I don't know what year model, I think it's a 2010 or 2011. It's a 410 horsepower Volvo FM. And uh, so yeah, it's it's not so very old. And it got this really good engine brake, I don't know, it's a special engine brake. I haven't seen any other Volvo on my company. It's actually, I think it's a retarder combined with, with the engine brake. It should have seen that coming. So yeah, it's it's really powerful. I like it, and and this truck is is so smooth and uh, nice to steer, and feels nice, and it's fun when you disconnect the uh, the trailer. Then it's really fast, and it's it's a joy to drive. Really, it's a nice nice drive. This thing, I like it. And this is now, by the way, I just have it so I can see the time here. This is uh, Google Maps with the Samsung Android, uh, Samsung Active tablet here. <clears throat> Pretty nice thing. But well, I am really liking that new TomTom Tom GPS. Because uh, you, uh, you can set the heights and it got so many nice other features and help stuffs or whatever you should call them. Watch out for that bus now. Oh, it seems like he's waiting a bit. Oh, he's gonna take a right. 
you know they have sweep sweeping back ends as well so you gotta really watch out for other trucks and cars they might not pay attention to their sweeping out rear ends and sometimes these traffic lights are really retarded uh, yesterday I drove a scanning a G490 and I just disconnected the trailer back at Elfsjö over here where I'm going now and then when I drove away with the truck I was gonna go to Heron City which is in Kungens Kurva down there it's like a huge uh, entertainment uh, building it's kind of where I live close to Albi there where I live with my mom currently um, so uh, yeah, I was going going to go there from Elfsjö to Hero City, and uh, I was going to go through the E4 motorway. Um, but then I realized, or I remembered, that trucks are not allowed to go through Elfsjö because there's a bridge which is seven and a half tons, and I was weighing about 18, 20 tons almost. So I I was going to turn around uh, at the traffic light like this one. I was gonna turn to the left there in the Elfsjö, the big big traffic intersection right there uh, like where you turn off to the rail, to the panel tog in the trains. So anyways I was gonna turn to the left so it turned green and uh, I had to you know take out the turn to be able to do the U-turn. Those, uh, those Scania trucks have a really good uh, turning radius but uh, still, it was uh, pretty tight, so I had to take out the turn. And then I saw a speeding car coming really fast on my right. I, you know, I couldn't, I wasn't expecting that because he was driving so fast. So I had to like wait for him to pass me as my rear end would sweep out into his lane. So uh, I just waited like five seconds, and then when I was gonna drive, it was red and it was green for all the other cars and I was standing there in the middle of the intersection and cars were coming like right at me so that was really bad uh, like traffic light which is just green so shortly sure it's good when it's just, it, I guess it's notices when you come usually the traffic lights notice like how many cars is there and then they stay green for a, a certain amount of time I think it is, it is this uh, sensors in the ground or something so then it only sends it to like one truck or one car and it thought it was gonna stay green for a short time so you guys gotta really pay attention of that if you're doing a u-turn you gotta you gotta know that it might turn red really fast and the uh, oncoming cars might get green and then you're standing there in their way and it gets really dangerous because i didn't realize it was red i thought it still was green so i started driving and then i saw cars coming at me so i had to stop on the brake and they kind of like had to avoid me a little bit so that was really dangerous. So now it's uh, Wednesday. I think it's gonna stay green. Yeah. It's exactly the last time I drove here. Here. Uh, oh no. Crap. Last time I drove, I went exactly like now, and it still stayed green. Now it didn't. It's a bit strange. Hope you'll see the reverse thing as well. Anyways, um, so now it's Wednesday. I'm gonna work tomorrow as well, on Friday. We'll see how much I, I can record. I'm still feeling a bit sick. Uh, right now I'm wearing glasses, because otherwise I have uh, these lenses, these eye lenses. But when I'm feeling sick like this, I'm feeling like really more sick and a lot of headache because I have lenses. So I get bacteria stuck in the eye. So now I have glasses and I'm feeling a lot uh, better. So I'm gonna just wear my glasses now uh, for a couple of days, I think, or something, till I feel better. I don't know. This is so strange. Well, maybe I need to change the lens type, or I don't know. Um, so next next week I'm gonna go to Norway on my motorcycle, uh, Yamaha XT 660R. Probably gonna record some. Of some and make a little music montage video of that and uh, I st still I have a video on when I drove west of the Vettern from German Shopping to Stockholm which I haven't uploaded that was really beautiful very beautiful scenery so I'm gonna try and find some good music and make a nice montage out of that anyway 
Anyway, so I think I'm gonna do a little story time now. Some of you been asking. So, um, uh, I got four minutes left, so it's a bit of a short one. But so I was loading up cages um, into the tra into the trailer once at this place and. Uh, not this place, but some other place. And uh, there was a guy uh, wanting to help me, like with this electric truck. And I was like, "All right, if you push that, all the, all the cages, it's like rolling cages, with which was I think it was like a hundred cages all stacked along each other. You know, if you um, you put up the floor and then you push them in and then you can stack them into each other. So you have like hundred stacked cages." that I was gonna push in into the trailer and I was gonna do it my own but this guy wanted to help so he, he, he started pushing and I was pushing really fast so I, I couldn't you know I couldn't I, I, I couldn't have time to react um, as uh, also it's um, in the port is it's like a bent port you know here you have the the cages and the port is like to the side so I didn't have time to push the cages so they would go into the trailer otherwise they would hit uh, the port like on the wall so I just ran over there and I tried pushing them and I was like I was like thinking should I yell at him to stop no because if he stops the cages will still you know fly into the wall but here comes the great tip to you guys, never trust anybody that drives electric forklifts. Because, uh, you know, you can drive how, how safe you could be doing, like maximum safety driving. <laughs> um, but uh, still, you can never trust anybody, you can still get really hurt because you can never trust anybody else with your forklifts. They can always drive into you, you know. So basically what happened was I fell when I was gonna push those cages into the trailer and my hand followed the cages and got stuck against the wall of the trailer and the cages and I was trying to pull it and it was like I was I just thought now I'm gonna lose my hand and this was like one week ago or something um, I got a lot of marks but it's uh, healed up now and I also hurt my ankle uh, and I uh, hurt my chin uh, or my uh, I don't know what to call it in English but uh, so I thought I thought that was really bad of him that he just drove so fast with the electric forklift so I couldn't have time to react I just threw myself after the cages to save the cages but really I shouldn't have done that I should have just saved myself that's also one thing you gotta keep in mind never ever you know save materialistic stuff before you just jump away from danger man and just let them let the material get damaged as long as you don't get damaged you know so i did wrong that i should have just jumped away and just watched as the, all as, as he would crash all the cages but what happened was also uh, that uh, douchebag um, tore up my papers. I wrote an incident report on that and I wrote on the incident report what was the cause. I wrote that he was driving too fast and without any view. Like he didn't even see me. He didn't, he didn't have no idea that I fell and I was lying there on the ground with my hand uh, uh, like stuck into the cages. He had uh, no idea about that. He was still pushing the cages and then he came to me and he, and he didn't say anything. I was like, hello, um, look at this. Didn't you notice anything? He was like, what, what happened? So he w it was totally his fault, you know, he was driving too fast and without any view of me, he didn't see me at all. So I wrote the incident report on that to prevent further accidents, you know, it's just to prevent further accidents. It's nothing personal against him. Um, good let's go in more early because also if you go in early you can you know drive forwards then and you can straighten this all up like it was easier but what happened was he like he got a hold of the papers then after uh, another guy copied them for me 
and he just tore them up and he was screaming and was very mad at me and stuff like I didn't do anything wrong and like a child you know and I got so freaking mad at him I yelled back and I was like we were sending him like the hulks like I was about to punch him almost so yeah you gotta never trust anybody driving the um, electric forklifts or other trucks and cars for that matter as well never trust anybody you can drive how safe you want but you can never trust anybody really okay now I'm just gonna drive forwards a bit and there I think that's good yeah Looks pretty good. Don't forget to put this into neutral before shutting off the engine. Otherwise it can get stuck in the gear as it's air assisted. If the air runs out, then you can start the engine. Also by the way, in some of my videos you may notice as I drive in the uphills on the motorway, I tend to push into manual in 12th gear. That's because I know that the truck can manage it in like a thousand RPMs climbing up that last bit but it would usually like to still shift down to limit gear that's why I push it into manual so it doesn't shift down to um, 11th gear there. So I'm just gonna go back here and uh, open up the doors and I'm just gonna back up that little, little bit more. Now if you were to back up into ports and loading at terminals, you need to back up straight by the way and that is really tricky to do to, to be able to straighten it up and back up really perfectly straight so other trucks can also back up but that's pretty it's pretty hard to do oh, still got a few seconds left here before the GoPro cuts this video but if you wanna like get it more straight you could, you know turn the steering wheel this way so it goes out and then you can like get it back in there you know it's, it's really hard to, to explain but sometime I will try and explain to you guys and you guys how you back up and get the trailer completely straight when when backing up besides two trailer combinations and getting it in there completely